What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Unify Controller on Raspberry Pi. You can install Unify Controller on Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, and 4. First, you'll have to install Raspberry Pi OS Raspberryan, and I already made a video about it, how to do step by step. Link for the video is going to be in the description below. So first thing we need to do, once you have your Raspberry OS installed, we need to open terminal window and in here we need to type sudo app update and I will leave all commands in order in the description below and then press enter. And then once it's done, we need to type sudo app upgrade and then press enter. The next thing we need to do, we need to install Java version 8 runtime environment because Unify controller requires that to run. So then we'll type this command and then press enter. Then we need to press on Y here and then enter. And the next thing we need to do, we need to install RNG tools that will improve startup speed on Unify controller. Type this command and then press enter. Now we need to make slight change in configuration. So then we need to type following command and then press enter. And then in here, what we're going to do, we need to remove hashtag from this HRNG device equals forward slash dev forward slash H-A-R-N-G. So we'll have to move down and then remove that. Then once we do that, we need to press on control X, then Y and enter. Now we need to restart our RNG tools with the following command and then press enter. And now we'll be installing Unify controller software to Raspberry Pi. Just copy and paste all the commands, the ones you'll find in the description below and then press enter. Then we need to add repository GPG key by using following command. As we may change to repositories, now we need to update the package. So same thing again sudo app update and now finally we're going to install unify controller software and then press enter now we need to press y here and then enter once this is done next thing we need to do we need to find out our hostname ip address so type hostname hyphen capital I and then press enter and now we're going to get our IP address. So next thing we need to do, we need to open our internet browser. You can do it from your regular computer or we can do it from here. Once the window is going to open up, we need to type HTTPS column forward slash forward slash and then our IP address minus 192.168.1.110 column and port 8443 and then press enter as you can see it right here that's the same ip address and then we're going to get to the screen right here we need to click on advanced and then process to 192.168.1.110 and that's it we have unify control software installed on our raspberry pi and for example if you restart your raspberry pi on a startup the software will be started. So right here, you need to name your controller and then go through the setup process. Most likely it's going to make you create Unify account. And that's how you can manage all of your Unify devices with just Raspberry Pi. And you don't have to have a key cloud. And this is pretty much it. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.